Uh, hey everybody, this is Robin Taylor with Taylor Freelance and we're here to talk about our new uh, interchangeable slide cover plates for the Canik. Canik SC, I'm going to start taking it apart just to show you how to take the slide, the slide cover plate on and off. Okay, there's a tiny little tab right here at the top um, and you need a little thin screwdriver of some sort to get in above the locking plate and note don't poke it so, it so it can't scratch. Once you push that down, you can pull it back on the locking plate and it'll, uh, the cover plate, excuse me, and it'll come right back off. When you get one from us, what I want you to do, take, the, take your cover plate out. Take the striker assembly out and then take your new cover plate in whatever color it is you like and just slide it in and out of there a couple times to make sure that it's going to go in gracefully. On the Cerakoted one, sometimes the Cerakote can get a, get a little too thick and it won't want to go in all the way. So if that happens, you just put it on a piece of emery cloth or something and thin it out and then it'll slide in there just like this. So in order to put Humpty Dumpty back together again, put your striker assembly back in the tube where it runs. Get your piece ready. Push down with your screwdriver at the top of the striker assembly. Once you got it lined up correctly, that is. There it goes. And then it'll slide right in. And you'll hear that little click noise. That little click is important because this little circle in the back uh, it helps determine the position of the striker in the gun. So once it snaps in there, everything's locked and you're good to go. Put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And we're in business.